Hey guys, this is Batwave, and today I was talking to you about the episode with Gohan, Dragon Ball Z Super episode 75. So with Gohan, he's, you know, basically becoming into a more, you know, constant character. Um, I think this episode was really cool because it talked more about how Goku is going to train more, how he's going to progress in his training, and he goes to a lot of people. And the last person he goes to in the episode is Krillin, right? And Krillin and him go in a forest, and they basically see, um, like, you know, uh, renditions or, like, you know, just characters or uh, villains they fought in the past. So I think that's pretty cool. Like, the next episode talks about Frieza, Cell, um, like, just all the villains that have appeared before them. And they're in a giant form, so... It's really cool to see like them coming back and just fighting Goku. I don't know so much about Krillin because he's just human and he's kind of weak. But we can just wait and see how it goes. And technically, it's just like the old times. I like how they like, brought back like Dragon Ball. And they incorporated the fact that uh, Goku and Krillin are right now training under Master Roshi. And the fact that, you know, they're, they're training just like how it was back in the day. And I liked how Master Roshi put training garments on Goku when he was fighting Krillin in one of the scenes. Um, also, I think that Gohan's going to become one of the great players that plays in the multi-universe tournament. Mainly because he's shown and depicted in the show more. Um, from Great Sandman, he literally just went Super Saiyan and broke, you know, like a boulder with his dad. So I think that shows, like, he he's, there, like, the you know, the creators really focusing on him and Krillin, like, external players... Or external characters the last few like episodes mainly because I feel like they're they need it all trained to become part of the multiverse universe tournament. And I think this is how he's going about his way of putting them in there. I really do think that Gohan's power level is really weak now, but I do feel that it's becoming stronger mainly because of Videl and um you know his father being right there and like just the, the training aspect of everything. I also think that, you know, Goku is really trying to seek stronger fighters and I feel like the only way he can improve compare compared to like Vegeta is if he fights new newer foes and learns their weaknesses and like things about them. I think for Vegeta it's about more intensity, more, you know, restraints and more like, you know, just like just fighting the old fashioned way. So I feel like Vegeta's fighting in his own way and Goku is more or less trying to find his own weak weaker points, stuff like that. So I think it's really gonna show like the difference between those two and the dynamic and i think this episode is really cool because it did it did kind of bring it back to dragon ball and like it just reminded me of old memories of when i used to watch it so i think it was really cool i don't know about everybody else because not everybody likes just like an episode with just mostly talking and you know conversation and conversation uh conversations but um i'm sure that next episode there's gonna be more action more fighting and it's really going to pick up. And I know after a few more episodes, the multi-universe tournament arc will start. So I can't wait. And this is my review about Dragon Ball Z Super. If you guys like like me, like and subscribe to my channel. This is a bat wave. And I'm out. Peace.